Welcome to your Straight Razor Edge Friday special close-up view shave of the day. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving and welcome back. It's good to see you. If you're interested in learning how to straight razor shave and all things straight razor related, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then click on the bell next to it to be notified when I upload videos. That way you won't miss a thing. Consider hitting that join button to become a member and support the channel. And my one word is heart. I put my heart into everything I do, and I believe every time you shave with a straight razor, you're getting a better shave. Now, in this shave, I am using my Frederick Herter & Son. This is the Ace of Spades, number 49. That is bone with inlay. It is a full hollow. This is shave 61 on this razor. It's got an Imperial LaRocca edge on it. And this is shave one for 2001. So that's pretty cool. And for our soap tonight, here we go. This is, what the puck? This is Razor Rocks Blue Barber Shop. It is just fantastic. Really enjoy this one. And it's a nice hard puck. So I have got it blooming, I do. So we're gonna pour off that bloom water, just like that. And we're going to put that on as a pre-shave. Yep. So here we go. Yeah, so this is shave 61 on that edge. The edge that just keeps giving. It's just marvelous. Fantastic. And this is shave one of 2001. Very cool. Yep. Now, for my brush tonight. All right, here we go. I won this brush off of the Wet the Face Facebook group, and I will have all of the information about it in the description. But look at that. Isn't that beautiful? This is a synthetic knot. So, splash and go. We're just going to get that wet and it'll be ready. Yep. So now I got that. Got the water out of there for the most part. Let's go ahead and get it loaded up. All right. Yeah. Well, I am hoping you had a marvelous New Year's Eve get together and you were able to be with family and friends and enjoy yourself. Yeah. And hopefully, you are all safe. Yeah, that's the most important thing. So, you know, we want to be safe. We want to do whatever we can do to be safe. Yeah, look at this. Oh, nice. Yeah, so hopefully you are well. The world's treating you good. You're in high spirits. Yeah. And you're getting some good shaves. That is right. Yep. Got to get those good shaves. Yeah, we do. Now, tell me, how was your holidays? I hope you had great holiday time and, uh, you know, coming into the new year with new hope. Yeah, that's it. All right. Now, I'm going to say we're probably done with that brush. Let's just clean up around the outside of that, just like that. We're going to put that on the brush. And I'm going to clean up around the inside as well. Just like that. And now, go ahead. Just put a little bit of that right there. There we go. Now, get those hands dried off. Okay. Now, we will be using my Crown King Travel Scuttle. This is the unbreakable one. And we're just going to get that soap mixed up in that brush really good. Because I face lather. I do. But it is good to get that soap all mixed up in that brush. And then that way it will actually give the lather uh, more evenly throughout all the passes that we're going to do. All right, there we go. 
Now, let's get that down there so we can keep that brush warm. All right, we're gonna get our lather on. All right, and it is really hasty. <laughs> Let's go ahead, we're gonna get some more water in that. Kick it up. Yeah, so this brush is very soft. Um, got a little bit of flop in it, but that's all right. It works really well. Yeah. And I'm liking it. I am. And it's really got some nice colors. Got some nice color in it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. That's nice. It is. Now, go ahead. Get those hands dried off. All right. This is pass one. And for me, primarily, that's going to be with the grain. Let's do this. Yep. Stretching with that off hand. Raising that razor about a spine width off of my face, giving me that approximate 20 to 30 degree shaving angle, which works really well. Yeah, so as we move to different parts of our face, we need to regain that shaving angle, all right? Here we go. Now here we're gonna come in straight. We're gonna scoop down, but you're gonna land really gentle. Nice. Yep. Looking good. There we go. Very nice. Now, we're gonna switch hands, go to this other side. And as we do this, if you are new, this is gonna be the best way for you to start. Try going right from one hand to two hands right off the bat because you're gonna get a better shave 
if you can shave with both hands. And in the beginning, it's going to take a long time anyway. You might as well enjoy the time and learn how to use that non-dominant hand. Yeah. There we go. Nice. Yeah, it is. Yeah, like I say, I hope you had the, some good holidays. Get some downtime in there. That is always nice. There we go. Now, keeping that razor cleaned off so I can see where I am and what I'm doing. There we go. Pass one complete. And it felt good. It did. Let's get that cleaned off. See how we did. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. That is good. And look at that. Just coming right back to life. Just adding water. Now. Let's get our lather on. Yeah, this brush got a nice splay to it. It really does. Yeah. Put some more water in that. Turn that brush ever so slightly as I lather, so the lather doesn't build up on the bottom of the brush. Yep. Here we go. Nice, 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 nice. There you go. That looks good. It does. Yeah, that brush works really well. It does. Now, it's time for pass two. And for me, primarily, that's going to be against the grain. Except for on each side of my neck, which is across the grain. Let's do this. Nice. Now right up through here, this is totally against the grain.
I maybe wasn't looking in the right camera for that angle. Yeah, as I'm doing this, just pick out whichever angle works best for you, all right? There we go. Now I'm rotating that blade like that so we can get that cheek. That is completely against the grain there. This is going to be against the grain as well. And that's across the grain on that chin. Yep. So the way this works for me is right up through here, that's against the grain. This way is gonna be against the grain, here, here, and here. And then this against the grain is more or less up. All right, now we're gonna switch hands. We're gonna get this other side. And I may have Hit a little something there. Let's go ahead, get a little soap on that. <laughs> no big deal, yep. All right, here we go. There we go, just like that. Okay, now let's get up here. There we go. Nice. Yep. There we go. Excellent. Now, let's see how we did. Oh yeah, cheeks are brilliant, right where they are. Yep. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Now, go ahead and get that dried off. And let's get our lather on. Yeah, this brush definitely has more floppiness than 
what I'm used to, but that does not mean that it's bad. It really doing a fine job, as you can see. Yeah, that's nice. Look at that. Fantastic. Yeah, good. Good, good, good. All right. Now it's time for the half pass. For me, primarily, that's going to be against the grain on my jawline, my neck. Let's do this. Now that was totally against the grain in that area. Now we're going to go with the grain in this area. And then across the grain. Just like that. There we go. Nice, 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 nice. Stretching with that off hand. Coming in with a shallow angle. Nice. All right. Get that blade cleaned off again. Here we go. Another shave in the books. Yep. And it felt good. It did. Yep. Here we go. Oh, nice. Oh, that is a good shave. It is. Wow. Fantastic. Yep. All right. We are still going alum everywhere. This is astringent and antiseptic. This will take care of any of those little bumps you might hit, and it will tighten that skin as well. So let's go ahead and get that going. And I will put that everywhere. Yeah, just like that. Now I'm gonna pat that dry. Yeah, nice. Now, if you can't take alum straight up, go with cold water rinse if you can get cold water. Follow it with witch hazel. For me, I'm using Thayer's Lavender Witch Hazel. This is fantastic and really does wonders for the skin. It does. And on top of that, it's got a fantastic scent. Mmm, yes it does. And I will put that 
pretty much everywhere. I will. Yes, I will. Next up, here we go. We're going Nivea Cooling Poche Bomb. This is fantastic, and it will help get that moisture back in that skin, and you'll be doing really well with this. And again, this has got a fantastic scent on it as well. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, that is so good. And next up, here we go. Stetson Cooling Moisturizing Aftershave. I'm using this more as a cologne, but it is fantastic. And I think it's going to complement this soap nicely. I do. Oh, nice. Oh, that is so good. It is. There we go. Oh, excellent, excellent. Click up here to see my latest video. Click over here to see a video specially picked out for you. Click on this one to see if I could only have one, the series. Have a great shave and a good day, and I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.